Today we are working on essential question three. We're finishing up big idea number two. Essential question three is how do I calculate density for various objects? So we are working on calculating density. Density is one of the physical properties that we've already talked about in essential question one. So we're finishing up this big idea today. So you are taking notes, please. You're going to want to write these things down. Now you do not need to copy all of this. Copy the very first line though for me. Density is a physical property of a substance. So write down that first line for me, please. Density is a physical property of a substance. Excuse me, of a substance. down right now I'm going to write on this side of the board <coughs> okay density of a substance is a relationship between the mass and how much space it takes up which we know as volume so it's going to be density equals mass divided by volume so this is the formula that you're going to read need to write down where D is your density Volume will be in milliliters or centimeters cubed. So those are the units that you're going to be um, <coughs> looking for and then using when we solve these problems. Solve these problems. density using this formula and we're going to use the other two versions of the formula as well I'm going to give you that in a few minutes what I want you to first look at though is a couple more definitions mass is the amount of matter in an object if you could write that down please mass mass is the amount of matter in an object So when we talk about how dense something is, we're talking about how much matter is compacted into a certain space, which is your volume, okay? So the mass of atoms, their size, and how they are arranged determines the density of a, sub of a substance. So if they're really closely packed together, those atoms, in a small space, it's going to be more dense, okay? So objects with the same volume but different a different mass can have different densities. They will have different densities. Okay? It depends on how tightly packed the atoms are and what their mass is. Okay? Now I'm going to show you a video really quick. I'm going to show you a video that kind of shows density layers. So this is pretty cool. Let me turn the volume up. So they're showing you here all 
all the different things they put in these cups, it's the same amount. they did they took all these different liquids and then these different objects and they were able to layer them one on top of the other because of their densities okay it's because of their density so where do you think the liquid and objects that are most dense where do you think they are in that tower the bottom they're at the bottom good and so the things that are less dense are towards the top so as you go from the top to the bottom you're increasing density Okay, which means that more of those atoms are more tightly compacted the more the farther closer to the bottom that you get, the farther down that you go. Okay? So I just wanted you to see that as an example to make sure you're understanding kind of more what the concept of density is, okay, before we start calculating it. Now let's see. Okay, so we talked about this. Everyone get down the definition of mass. Okay, so mass is the amount of matter in an object. You're going to want to make sure you have that written down. Now I'm going to add one more thing over here. I want to give you the three formulas for density. The first one we already talked about, density equals mass over volume. So if the problem asks you to solve for density, this is what you're going to use. Okay? But there are two other things that we could ask, be asked to solve, solve for. <coughs> they could ask us to solve for mass. Or they could ask us to solve for volume. So they're going to give you two pieces of information, and you're going to calculate the third. So what I would like for you to do is to draw a triangle on your paper. Anywhere. Yep. And then draw a T to divide it into three different sections. And then we're going to fill in the letters from our, the variables from our formula here. So density equals mass divided by volume. D and an M on the top and then V down the bottom. <coughs> now once everyone gets that in, I want you to take a look up here. Just a couple seconds to finish that up. Okay, now everyone take a moment and just look up here and watch what I'm going to do. Okay, everyone look up here for just a minute. You'll have more time to copy in a second. Look up here. Density equals mass divided by volume. M over V. That's our original for formula, right? <coughs> mass equals density times volume. Because they're right next to each other. Yes. And then volume equals mass divided by density. So this triangle gives you all three versions of the formula that you're going to need. Okay, so watch again. We have density equals mass divided by volume. We have mass equals density times volume because the two variables are right next to each other so we know we're multiplying. And then you have volume equals mass divided by density. Volume equals mass divided by density. So these are the three versions of the formula that you're going to need to know. So if you can remember the triangle, then you can write all three. Okay? Questions so far? All right, what I'm going to pass out to you now is a practice paper. And I'm going to go through these problems with you.
Okay, guys, you're going to need a calculator, so you're going to want to grab the calculator out of the bed in front of you or get out your own.
So 2 times 4 is 8, times 5 is 40. So 40 centimeters 